Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tips and Tricks with That's on Deanna. And today we're going to be showing you all different types of foil applications. Tools and supplies needed for foil, rolls of foil, heat press sheets, craft paper or Teflon sheets, a heat press with even temperature and adjustable pressure, and pre-treated shirts. Choosing a graphic. If you want a solid, vibrant look to your print, we recommend using single color graphics. For example, create a graphic in yellow to use with gold foil. You have to remember that this foil sheet is semi-transparent and the color underneath will affect the final look of the print. If you're using something in red and then use gold foil, you're going to have something that looks like ketchup and mustard and you don't really want that. If you're using a multiple color graphic, try to keep all the colors in a similar shade. For example, yellows with golds and light browns or you can keep blues and greens together. Remember that the foil will stick to all areas that you printed a white underbase. Let's now set up our rib settings. Open up the Anna rib, go to File, Place, Image, find your graphic. Once it's loaded, enable the white ink underbase. Under your underbase tab, all you're going to want to change is a quality setting. You want the quality change to speed. Your variable dot range you still will want to narrow. The quality for your print settings you'll want to change to speed as well. Okay, for this Bob Marley graphic sample, Edsel is going to use a single sheet of gold foil. Once it's done printing on the printer, Edsel will quickly go to the heat press and put the foil color side up and clamp down the heat press. Once it's finished, Edsel will wait 30 seconds to peel off the foil. And for this particular graphic, he's done. For your heat press and ink curing settings, you're going to have your heat press set to 330 degrees for 90 seconds. A heavy pressure is very important to achieve a solid foil effect. Less pressure will result in a poor foil effect. Move the shirt to the heat press immediately after printing to make sure that the ink doesn't start to dry, which could cause the foil to not stick. For this particular foil, we recommend using a cool peel process, meaning you would wait 30 seconds to a minute before peeling off the foil sheet after it comes off the heat press. Peel off the foil sheet even and slow. Brush off any excess foil that does not stick. For that, you can either use a wadded old t-shirt or even one of those lint rollers. Now we're going to show you another way how to do the Bob Marley graphic. I cut three sheets of gold, red, and green foil. I'm going to place these strips of foil on top of the Bob Marley graphic where it shows the red, gold, and green. I'm going to go ahead and put, do the same thing, put it over the heat press, clamp it down, and when it pops up, I can individually peel off those sheets after I wait 30 seconds. Now you have a different way to show the same graphic, but with using different colored foils. To achieve a distressed look, create a graphic with the same color background as your shirt. For your underbase settings, uncheck content base and you're going to want to change your quality setting to speed. 
Under your print settings, you want to change your quality setting to speed as well. Okay, for this OC Distress Graphic look, you're going to do basically everything the same. Wait for it to come out the printer, put on the heat press, except this time I'm going to actually crinkle the foil with my hands. If you're using one of those clear heat press sheets, you can actually just crinkle those sheets instead of the foil. But if you don't, and some a lot of people don't, if you're just using craft paper or Teflon, you're going to have to crinkle the foil. If I'm making a funny face while I'm doing this because a lot of glitter is flying in this air and going up my nose, so it may be a good idea afterward to either wash your hands or use a lint roller to remove all the glitter or else someone's going to look at you pretty funny once you leave your office. We hope you found this video helpful. For more tips and tricks, subscribe to the Anajet YouTube channel. If you have any further questions, please email us at video at anajet.com.